Well, good morning, DCO Nation. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris. I'm with Deadcom Outdoors. And this morning, it is an absolutely beautiful late October day here at Merle's Inlet. And uh, the wind is supposed to be down today. The tides are going to be right, at least for me. I love this tide. So we're going to be fishing the, um, <clears throat> the last three or four hours of the outgoing tide, the low tide, and then first couple hours of the incoming tide. So let's see what we can get onto today. I am fishing with, let me spin it around here, with Heath and Joe. They decided to come out. You probably remember Joe, he was out with us, uh, gosh, during the springtime. He was one of the guys in the big group of kayakers that we took out. And uh, so he decided to come out with us today and see if we can't get on a few fish. So guys, let's see what we can do. Oh. If you notice there in the back, I've got another camera angle going on. This is the maiden voyage with that, so we're gonna need to work out the bugs, so hopefully we don't have a whole lot of camera issues. That one is just a sit it and forget it, so hopefully uh, it works out well and you guys enjoy the new angle. So guys, here we go. Let me show you what I got tied on first thing here this morning, because I'm gonna be jumping back and forth. Today I've got a voodoo shrimp tied on. This is a uh, Cajun pepper with chartreuse tail. And then I've got a Z-Man. Let's pull him up. I've got a Z-Man and this is the Mulatron, the little what three inch or so Mulatron on a 316 ounce Texas side to keep him weedless. So those are the two that we're gonna be working with today. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I think I'm gonna start with the uh, the Molotron. It's a good little spot. There's a... Beautiful out. I saw something getting kind of blown up and chased right there. There we go, fish on guys. I saw something getting kind of blown up over there on some bait. Feels like a little flounder. Oh uh, yeah, little bitty flounder. Little flounder. If he shakes it off, it'll be okay because he is gonna be short. But well, that's not bad. Alright, he he can't be 12 inches. All right, guys. Skunks out of the boat. But I did see some bait get sprayed in the air. <clears throat> and I threw over there and picked up that little flounder. So, note to self. You see bait getting messed with? Throw over. There we go, fish on. Okay. Little better flounder. Let's see if I can get him in without the net. All right. Okay, guys. Wow, two in a row right along here. He's a little bit better. He may go 13 or 14. Uh, let's say, oh gosh, 13 and three quarter. Close, close, close. Okay, two. Wow, right off the bat. So that's really good. So guys, I do know that the major starts at eight o'clock and goes to about 10. So it is eight o'clock right on the money right now. So these fish hopefully are turned on for the next couple of hours. There we go. Almost feels like a trout. Yeah, here. Oh, a little flounder. Okay. 
Ah, he threw it off. That's alright, he was small. Alright, we'll call that three. fish on. That may be a red. Oh yeah, nice little red. There we go. He may reach slot. A little red. Got him on the voodoo shrimp. A little red fish. Hey. Yeah, a little red fish. Cool. Alright, ah, guys, get him right back in. There he goes, too. He wasn't sticking around. Alright, cool. There we go, fish on, guys. That's a flounder, that's a better flounder. seen him yet but he's got to be decent size Woo, guys I at least want to take a look at him oh yeah he's decent he's nothing out of control but he's a good flounder Oop, almost Almost got him. There we go. It's a nice keeper flounder. Cool. No, I went back to the um, um, little mulletron. I'm going to take a look at him real quick. Let's just throw him on the board real fast. I got him at 16. Keep the flounder. Not bad. Alright, guys. There we go. Well, we just kicked up. I got him on the Z Man Mulatron here. That was good. A little nice 16 inch flounder so i think that's what four but that's one keeper and a nice little redfish this morning I'm seeing a ton of bait right here these birds are just scattering 
be surprised if there's not a red working around in here. There we go. Oh. Uh, I can't catch up to him. <laughs> oh, it's a little red. All right. Get them in here. Another little small wren of the day. Again, on that voodoo shrimp. Yeah, another nice little small red. Probably no more than 13 or 14. I don't think he's a keeper yet. Cool. There he goes. All right. Do you see a lot of boat traffic there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Merle's Inlet, man. There's boat traffic everywhere. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see if there's anything over there. Heath doesn't want to catch anything, so right. I'm gonna pot lick him. Oh, that sounded weird. <laughs> yeah, but after the last couple of years, I don't think there's a whole lot of weirdness. <laughs> there we go, fish on. Look at you. See, Heath didn't want anything over there. I'm going to back out. Throw up in there, guys. There's got to be another one. That's flounder. Right. Yeah, if he throws it, I'm not going to pull the net. He's a little bitty small one. Okay guys, so let me give you a little bit of an update here. <laughs> As you can see, I am, I don't know if you can or not, but I am covered in water, mud, there is just stuff all over the place here. So we tried to cut around the flat because it's almost low tide. And it was my brilliant idea to try to get in this little creek and go over. Well, we got stuck. There wasn't enough water, so <laughs> we <laughs> had to push and pull our way back out. And we're back out here to the main creek and we're going to fish out here for a few hours. Oh man, I just, whew, man, I stink. So, give you a little bit of an update. It's uh, 1021 right now. I've caught two reds, four flounder. It's been a good morning so far and uh, we're going to keep on going here. <laughs> There we go, fish on. Fish on. I think that's a red the way he is swimming around like that. There we go, guys. He just came and picked it up. What do we got here? Yeah, it's red fish. Okay, cool. Another nice little red here. Again, keen in on that shrimp right now. Got him. All right, another nice little red. Cool, guys. Get that voodoo shrimp out of him. And again, just another about the same size that I've been getting. He's maybe 13 or 14. Yeah. Cool. All right, back in he goes. Really wasn't working that shrimp very hard either. Ooh, something else is down there. I definitely don't want to get too close. Ooh, that was a red right there. There we go, guys. Fish on. 
up here. I think I'm in a nice little school of redfish. Pitch up right in there. Yeah. Another nice little red. That's back to back. A nice blue tail on him. There it goes. I said I just picked them up back to back. Red? Yep. You got the next cast, man. Go ahead and pick you up one. Oh, yeah, I think there's a bunch of reds in this area right here. There we go. Fish on. back out of there let heat get one Ooh, that's a flounder Yeah, nice man. Barely 15, he said. Good fish, man. Good fish. Looks like there may be something working over here. I keep seeing blow ups every once in a while. Almost like it's pin and bait against the shoreline. And that's what a redfish will do. It'll work it and then pin the bait. So, there we go. Fish on, fish on. There we go. That feels like a flounder. That almost feels like dead weight. Boy, he's, he knows he's caught now. He knows he's hooked. guys that is awesome another nice little fish here all right guys <laughs> I can't keep a handle on him decent little fish he's probably 15 Ooh, there he goes. Cool. All right. Nice. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and wrap up this day. Um, first of all, let's start with the new camera footage. You know, I had that new camera here in the back of me, and uh, hopefully, you know, I got some pretty good footage. I don't know what the audio is going to be like. Um, you know, I may have to get an external mic for that one, but that's all right. I know that I did have a little snafu with the chest camera today, so hopefully that the back camera picked up most of the footage. But um, guys, it was a good day out on the water. Probably, what, 
six or so flounder, maybe that many redfish. So, man, you really can't complain. Look at this beautiful day. Got to fish with a couple of buddies. And uh, yeah, what a great day. So the redfish bite is on. It is late October. If you guys can get out on the water, get out on the water, because now's the time to do it. Because they're hitting the shrimp and paddle tails. That's what the redfish and the flounder we're both hitting on today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you got any questions. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and my Thursday night lives now. If you miss them, you can pick them up on Spotify. So look for DCO Live on Spotify and you can pick them up. Guys, I appreciate you and I will see you out on the water. Y'all have a great day.